Hi Libra, how are you? My name is Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. I've gone ahead and I've laid out your spread this week, Libra, with the Muse Tarot. As always, my readings are timeless, so whenever you get here is whenever you get here. Feel free to look outside your big three when it comes to readings. Go by titles, go by timestamps. If this reading does resonate with you, by the end of it, I will have an extended reading. The links for that will be the top ones in the description box. Libra, we seem to be in the midst of a story we're kind of catching you in the middle of a process right now you have the high priestess and you have the seven of cups in reverse um kind of on the split of your deck and so i think there is something about why you may have felt plateaued or why you feel as though you're unable to move forward onto the next stage in your life up until this point it seems like it's a message coming through perhaps from your higher self trying to indicate um that movement is about to happen shortly but trying to explain why perhaps it hasn't thus far so let's pray as we always do and then we'll we'll get into this message for you very good Father God, thank you for bringing me and my Libras in for this reading. I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for Libra's highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you, we love you, we thank you always. We give you all the glory and the honor for these messages. To the utmost high, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Libra. So, first card out, we're starting with this strength card. I noticed that in this card, you've kind of had to traverse a bit of this desert land, right? There's not a lot of growth in the desert. It's, it's pretty hot, right? So you might have been going through like a lot of pressure, a lot of dark nights, a lot of trigger moments. It's kind of dry. Maybe you haven't felt as though you've had all the support or all of the resources that you've needed to get into this point. And you've acquired like quite a bit of strength. Um, I think that you have surprised yourself with your ability to endure with the stamina that you have built up for yourself but i do see you kind of sitting up here like just waiting in front of this big moon like not really quite knowing when the environment is going to change or when you're able to continue on your journey and i like that you are on top of this lion lions talk a lot about loyalty you've been very loyal to the path that you've been on libra lions also talk a lot about pride and so I, the fact that you are on top of it means that i think you've had to overcome any ego that would have made you want to quit or one of wanted to make you kind of fall into melancholy or go this isn't fair i'm not doing it anymore all of that kind of stuff that sometimes makes us quit a race before we've hit the finish line i think you've had to work really hard on temperance in, in order to kind of make this happen and I think on the surface level, it feels like you have it all together, right? Like you look absolutely beautiful. You look strong. You look unstoppable. You look incredibly stoic in this. But the four of emotions comes out next. And Libra, you always look good. It's just a thing about Libras. Even if Libras are in a period of, the, of their life where they feel completely unhinged, you look on the surface like you have it all together. And so I think that this four of emotions might be more of an accurate representation of your emotional state. Again, on the surface, it, you look strong as strong can be, but inside you might be feeling a little bit like you're kind of drowning or just the heavy emotions of everything that you've just been through. They might kind of be rising to the surface. It is this feeling of sorting, sort of wanting to hide a little bit. What sticks out to me though is that, you know, the Four of Cups generally talks about feeling dissatisfied with your circumstances but not recognizing that like a new opportunity is coming in and you kind of need to be on the lookout for it. And this card, you're actually within the fourth cup. You're sitting inside of it. And so perhaps you might not have realized, Libra, that you might feel as though you've been stalled out, you've been delayed, you've been kind of in a holding pattern. But what actually seems to be happening is that you are sitting within an opportunity. What I also think is really interesting to me is these two faces on either side of your cup. And it's almost this idea that deep within like your emotional body, there seems to be this added assistance around you, whether or not you are perceiving it. I'm wondering if maybe you haven't been perceiving it, but it seems like it's almost trying to nestle your cup up above the waves, up above 
the heavy emotions that sometimes we can feel up above the anxiety above sometimes you can get really inundated by your intuition too with different timelines coming in different energies there's very empathic energy that's coming off of these cards as well there seems to be some kind of added assistance coming from sort of beneath the ground floor to help push you up and keep your head above water now the night of inspire okay uh okay so if you feel as though you'll have these very brief moments where you just feel a little bit better or these brief moments where you feel a little bit more hopeful or all of a sudden you find yourself just like laughing at something and realize whoo I haven't laughed in a while that's this influence that they really want you to know that it's this influence kind of boop trying to keep you raise your vibration um raise the the harmony of your emotions if you feel that kind of joyful or a light energy come in even if it's just for a small period of time know it's their influence coming in to help slowly kind of shift your alignment up to a place that feels more breathable for you now this night of inspiration comes up next and it almost feels a little bit like a distraction but it feels like something is happening in the foreground something is happening outside of you um, whether it's physically in the environment or whether it's just intuitively it seems like something is happening to take your attention off of where you've been sitting back into the outside world or back into something else that's happening in the ethers it feels like it's uh, it's like a firework goes off and you're like wait a second it's december it's that sort of feeling it's it's just trying to draw your attention elsewhere now where it seems to be drawing your attention is to the others it's to the others because the five of voices is coming out next and it's followed up i just realized that wow the five six and seven of voices i just realized that they were going in that order it's your attention is being drawn to another group of people or another group of energetic activity that's following a particular order. And I see with this going from the five to the six, it feels like there are these people that have been also in a holding pattern. Um, maybe they've been uh, very confused. Maybe they've been sitting in a dark night of the soul. The energy heal, the energy here feels kind of heavy and it almost feels as though they are being chosen one by one and being led across some bridge they're being led to the other side i could absolutely see this as uh like new waves of people starting to wake up or starting to go into whatever field you work in go into whatever uh personal philosophical spiritual belief that you that you hold it's that sort of thing but what's interesting is that the seven of swords comes out next so your attention is being drawn to these groups of people that have been sitting also in a holding pattern, but it's in a different vibration than you are. It feels like they haven't quite made it to the point in their journey that you are in yours and they're individually being chosen, brought across this bridge. But when they get across there, it seems like there is a challenge point. When I see this seven of voices, it always feels like a challenge point something an energy that is sort of guarding the way to the other side guarding to where the grass is a little bit greener but when i pull that card it always feels like there's something about that energy that is intentionally intimidating it's supposed to test your ability to be brave or to be committed to following through or your perseverance it's it's that sort of thing test your confidence in yourself so again your attention is being drawn to all of these other people going through this process, which feels like a process that you already went through. When I pulled this seven of voices, I actually asked myself and it felt as though you were already on the other side of this bridge. And maybe once you got to the other side, you just had to kind of sit here and wait it out a little bit, right? You had to endure a difficult journey. Again, that's part of the, you had to overcome your ego. You had to build up a lot of stamina, a lot of perseverance, a lot of faith, like you, you, and then once you did it was almost a little anticlimactic it's like you crossed the finish line but there's like there's no one there it's like having it's like knowing that you accomplished someone something but not having anyone else realize that you just accomplished like a very significant feat in your life so even though it's like you have a sense of strength and pride there is something a little deflating about it right it's like if a tree falls in the woods sort of thing but there is something kind of cool about the fact that you are distracted from your own process long enough that you fall in, what is this, nine, into the nine of emotions. And do you remember with this four, 
how we were talking about how your vibration was slowly being pushed up. You were slowly moving higher and higher up the totem pole of like emotional harmony or optimism or realizing that you're within an opportunity. And maybe it's something about seeing other people go through a step-by-step -step process that you already went through, Libra, that is making you recognize the opportunity that you've been sitting in. Maybe it's making you recognize how far you have actually come, how much work you've put in. It, it grows a sense of a, a pride and accomplishment for you. Even if there wasn't anyone around to see you cross that finish line, you have a deeper recognition of self because you're witnessing other people go through something that you already came, went, did a long time ago. And when that happens, I see you all of a sudden just kind of starting to float. It's this new level of balance that you're obtaining. It's this new level of like alignment of consciousness. And it kind of reminds me of when a little kid is trying to ride a bike. And, you know, the parent is like holding the back of their bicycle, right? Kind of helping them push it along, just like in this Four of Cups. And then eventually, right, they're having a conversation. Something catches the kid's eye. They're going, they're going. And then next thing you know, the parent lets go and the kid goes, holy shit. Well, maybe, but holy shit, like I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. Look at me. It's you being able to maintain your own perspective your own vibration your own alignment the, your own recognition of self without kind of uh, having the training wheels on does that make sense and when that happens this page of voices kind of comes out and there's two things in this card one I think it's you kind of going holy shit like I'm really doing it like I can't believe I'm seeing how difficult it is for these people I, it felt very difficult for me but seeing the outsider perspective of other people going through it it gives me a new appreciation for what I just traversed however it feels like as these people are making their way over the bridge two actually it's two bridges they're making their way to the other side and then they're making their way over this bridge again going through the process that you just went through it's almost as though when they get to the other side, they see you in levitation. And that's there's something about you that is f absolutely fascinating to them. They're like, holy shit, like I didn't even know there was anyone over here. What is Libra doing? And then with this night of materials, it's this feeling of them wanting to make their way closer to you to get a closer look at what you're doing. How are you levitating, Libra? They're playing me that song by Dua Lipe in my head. I want you. You want me, baby. My sugar boo. I'm levitating. It's something like that. It's like, holy, how does, how does that happen over there? And again, so they want to move towards you because they really want a closer look. They're like, is that what happens when we get to the other side? Is that... But there's something about this night of materials that it feels like it moves much more subtly. It moves much more quietly than, say, this night of inspiration does. But you fall out in this ace of voices. So if this energy of the night of materials of these people one by one making their way across the seven of swords energy getting a peek at you doing something that is really kind of amazing it's fascinating them they move closer to you even if their movement is incredibly subtle there's something about it that you're picking up on so this ace of voices feels in many ways like they've caught your attention Spirit versus catching your attention, pointing out these people, which immediately reflects a new aspect of the experience that you have already went through back to yourself. So now you're self-focused again. You're not focused on the others anymore. You're not focused on what you may what might feel disappointing about your situation or the stagnation of your situation. You're focused back on yourself. But then your attention gets taken again. But this time it's the people that have been watching you. You notice them. You feel like a like a, a new energy emerge or like a disturbance amongst the force. And when you look, they come out as the three of materials. And so it's almost this idea of them kind of like sitting there watching you. It's like when you, it is, it's when you get that feeling that someone's staring at you. You kind of sit with it for a second and then eventually it's like you slowly turn your head and there are these people just like, huh. It almost like reminds me of, someone watching a performer practice or an athlete 
throw hoops. It's like, it's that kind of thing. But more so, the five of inspiration comes out. And it's almost this idea of clamoring, the word clamoring. Now it's like these people are watching you. They're fascinated about what you're doing. Again, is that what happens on the other side? What is, how did Libra learn how to do that? I'm tired. I just got to cross this bridge. Holy shit. And now they're clamoring kind of on top of each other to get like a better look at you, get a higher perspective of you. I like these mirrors. Like, is that reflective of me? Am I going to be able to do that too? Just like Libra was able to do that. Is that what this path leads to? It's like a really kind of interesting thing. And then the eight of voices comes out. And so it's almost as though you become more self-focused. You feel like people are staring at you. You finally kind of turn around or you focus on the energy that people are kind of directing in your way and you notice them. Like you finally notice the others noticing you. And with this eight of voices, it almost feels like when you open your eyes out of meditation. And so I'm wondering if this is all like a deeply internal and like a meditative energy working process. Like you sit down to meditate Libra and you have these questions for your higher self or God or your spirit guides. And you're like, I did all this work and I've been sitting here and I don't want to feel kind of disappointed or anticlimactic or melancholy, but it's like, I just did this whole thing and there's no one here to see it or there's no one here to, to work with me or for me to teach or for me to lead or for anyone to buy my music or it's like, it's that kind of thing. And then all of a sudden these little pieces come in and they draw your attention to this energy and you might start getting uh, through clairvoyance, like you might start getting visions or, or just different messages coming in. And all of a sudden you feel the presence of all of these. It's like a door opens and you can see it's like, oh, uh, do what it is. It's such a, your energy is so interesting today. It almost reminds me of one of those, uh, those mirrors where it's like they're one-sided. It's like other people can see into you what you're doing, but you can't see the others. But then all of a sudden you become very aware that people have been watching you this entire time, or at the very least for a significant portion of time, longer than you might've realized. I feel like there were even people watching you in this position, which is maybe why I was saying before, it looks like you're really confident. Like it looks like you're very strong. Like you have your shit together like it looks like you're ready to go but inside and you might have been pulling up messages like Libra put on your brave face like Libra go out there and like do your best job but you're like but I don't there's no one here like I don't understand it's because even if you didn't know they were there they were still kind of watching you and so it's like you open your eyes outside of this meditation right it's like it's kind of this stark from dark to light sort of realization and then the seven of materials comes out and it's almost like you open up your eyes and all of a sudden there is a figure here. There is a, an energy present that is trying to congratulate you. It's trying to hand you a bouquet of flowers, which again, pulls in some of that performance aspect. I remember like I did dance for so many years uh, professionally. I did it competitively. And it's like when you're on the stage, you actually forget that there are people watching you because you're so focused on what you're doing. And then eventually... The set ends and then you have this moment where you're very aware of the fact that there are 400 people in an audience that just saw you twirling, twirling your little life away, singing a song. And then you walk off stage and then people hand you flowers for doing a good job. It's that idea of give them their flowers while they're here. So it's like you come out of this trance state, you come out of this meditation, you come out of at the very least this process and all of a sudden you're being congratulated. It's sort of the acknowledgement that you didn't have before it comes in now, but it seems like it comes in spades, not just from this particular individual who maybe was one of the ones helping to kind of lift your spirits before, but also from the audience. Because your last card in this spread is the Queen of Wands. And so all of a sudden, it's like the light, the sun is shining on you. You are standing in front of the moon before, but now you're in the sun. Everyone can see you. They can celebrate you. And there's something about it that it's like, it's, it's warm. It feels good. It's like this sense of confidence, right? And you have this very kind of illuminated third eye right here. And it's almost like, damn, like my intuition was right. I think that you knew that maybe this portion of your life, this chapter 
would come eventually but you just didn't know you thought it would happen as soon as you crossed over that bridge but it took a little bit longer than you expected if that makes any sense and I, I think it's really beautiful because in many ways with that five six and seven of voices it kind of feels as though as you've been going through this process Libra it's like uh walking uh, through a trail in the woods that you've been leaving like these little signposts like you've been kind of forging a path that you thought was kind of just for you, but it's the same path that all of these other people have been following. And so I think that's part of their fascination. And it's like, I've been following Libra this whole time, but they didn't know until they knew it was you. And so it also brings up that idea of when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And so these students, whatever it is that you do, right? People that are going to learn from you as an individual, uh, something you, an ability you have, whatever. That the students have slowly been one by one by one making their way across. And now that there is enough of them there, now that they are ready to engage in the process that you just finished, because you're moving forward, you're moving past this process now. Now that they are ready, you appear to them in the full sunlight and they're celebrating you. They're grateful for you. Spirit is acknowledging you. There's acknowledgement everywhere. And I think that that's beautiful, Libra. So I'm going to cut it here. I am going to go do an extended reading, like I said before. So if you're interested in your extended reading, if you're interested in your November monthly reading, those will be down below. I do offer personal services. If you would like to privately book with me, my booking information is below. Consider joining Patreon. We have all of the extendeds, all of the monthlies. I do run a spiritual development workshop that everyone is kicking ass in. We have a lot of fun over there. I love you so much, Libra. Be nice to yourself. Be kind to each other. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.